All right, so to make a torch, you have one of three options. You can use the Unreal Engine particle system for the fire. You can create your own or use one in the asset store. For this video, I'm going to use one in the asset store. It is the Realistic Starter VFX Pack Volume 2. I believe this is completely free whenever I got it. But all you do is just hit Add to Project and you are good to go. All right, so back in Unreal, we can go to the asset right here, the asset pack, and go to particles, and then go to fire. And as you can see, you get fire big, fire small, fire wall, and flamethrower. Torch is one that I just created, and all I did was this fire small right here. I duplicated this, so right click, duplicate, and then on these options you have you have this tiny one this one this one this one this one or that one i disabled all the other ones i picked one disabled all the other ones and then centered it which gave me this and so basically as you can see if you want to use mine as a example i took the fire f smoke f and light f so I took over here, where's F? Right down here, I took these, I saved these, and I deleted all the other ones. Then, after you do that, you wanna make sure it's centered. So on this initial location right here, on all of them, this might be like 50 or 20 or something. You just wanna make sure this is zero to center it out. And so this basically gives us a nice little base flame with some smoke. Alright, and so now for the actual blueprint part. Go to content, right click, and blueprint class. Create an actor, and call this BP Porch. Like that. And now on this part, I'm going to get some assets from Megascans. So inside Quixel Bridge, just search for stick. And just have a look around and find a stick that looks like it'd be good for a torch. Alright, so I have imported my mega scans. I just selected two. This one right here is like the part that is actually going to be burning. And then this part right here is the actual torch itself. So now we can head on to the blueprint. Inside your blueprint, you want to add two static mesh components name the first one torch and add another one and call this burn spot now as you can see the burn spot wood is very vibrant like it's not even burnt so i'm going to open its material instance inside its material instance it's albedo tint right here i'm just going to make this be like a grayish color just about like that so it looks burnt and then save and then head back to our torch and as you can see this part looks burnt and now the torch right here I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees probably do it the other way and I'm going to scale it down just a little bit Something about like that. Maybe even smaller if you want to actually hold it. But this torch I'm thinking of like a wall mounted torch or something. And then the burnt spot right here. Rotate this. And this needs to completely cover up the top of the torch. So move it up here towards the top. And then what we're going to do is scale this up slightly. Just ever so slightly scale it up. And you could also grab like a string and wrap around right here. Like a string asset. And it would hide the difference of the burnt spot and the torch itself. The handle. Alright, so next up you want to add an emitter. And this asset pack uses Cascade Particle Systems. 
So you just have to search for cascade particle system and call this the fire. And over here on the template, search for your torch. P underscore torch right there. And as you can see, it's massive. So it has to be scaled down to like 0 0.25. 0 0.25. 0.25 slide it up it'd probably have to be even smaller than that probably like 0 0.15 0 0.15 0 0.15 somewhere around there all right so if your torch is tiny with the mega scans assets because I forgot that some of them aren't actually tiny. That's why the fire was so big. Because the fire was normal size. I'm going to set the fire to 1. Back to 1. Like it was. Bring this up. And then the torch and burnt spot. I'm going to set their scale. Oh, they have multiple values. So burnt spot scale. Or well, let's do torch scale first. Torch scale, 1, 1, 1, all the way across. Bring this up. And then burnt spot should still be good. Yes, it is. So then drag the fire down just a little bit. And this would take some adjusting to get the fire to torch size ratio how you like it. I'm just going to stick with something like that. Maybe make the fire just like 0.9. Just so it's a little bit smaller. Something about like that. And yeah. Compile and save it and we are done. Alright. As you can see the torches are all hung up. As you can see the little burnt spot. Looks like there's the little thing that burns. That are on torches. The fire is still like a little wonky. Because the scale of it is a little weird for the size of the torch. But again, that just takes some messing around to get it set up exactly how you like it. But yeah, as you can see, it emits light. Alright, if you enjoyed this simple tutorial on making a torch or you found it useful, leave a like and subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.